Computer. Today, we're going to make a musical instrument out of... Ooh, ooh, this side's hot! A lightsaber. Basically, this musical instrument is going to be less hand solo, more hand solo. Get it? <laughs> so how we're going to do this is using this fancy, yet cheap, electrical gubbin thing called an accelerometer. Mm. So you find these in games controllers and phones, and these are the things that know which way is up? You'll see that there's an X, Y, and Z on there. And no, it's not a coincidence that that's also the name of axes. Mm -hmm. This board basically knows where it is on these three different axes. And it sends out a voltage on the X, Y, and Z pins corresponding to where it is. So this is on the Y axis, and it's sending out more voltage on the Y, less voltage. More, and in the middle. You can use these accelerometers to control all sorts of things, but right now we're going to use these to turn the lightsaber into a musical instrument. Okay, time for 60 seconds in heaven. First we're going to surgically slice it open so we can get to all of those lovely little electronic gubbins. There we go, snip snap, crabbly whap. There we go, we can admire the inside for a second before we start taking it apart and removing the original circuit boards because we don't need those right now. There we go, a carcass of its original form itself. Now we're going to solder wires onto the actual battery terminals so we can power the accelerometer. And there we go, snip snip scabbity whap. Pop in the batteries to test the voltage display, oh lovely. Now it's time to solder the voltage display onto the accelerometer. Absolutely fabulous. Now it's time for the big red button. We gotta drill a hole in there so we can actually fit it in. This is the wire we're going to use to plug it up to everything else. Oh, this is moving way too quick for me to keep up with. You better hurry up there, you've only got 15 seconds. Get the hot glue and just stick it all back together. Hopefully it's going to work or that'll be tough to get it undone with all that glue there again. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Looking lovely. Okay, hurry up, Sam. Come on, chop, chop. You've only got two seconds. And, oh, no. So here it is. Just your common garden lightsaber pheromone. If you haven't got a musical bone in your body, well fear not, because this can just be used as a digital spirit level to know when everything's straight. I'm not joking, look at this screen. <laughs> now if you're a Star Wars fan and you want to put up some shelves, this might be the perfect answer for you. But what's better than a lightsaber pheromone? Two lightsaber pheromones! I've also put together this meme machine. Whew. This takes the signals from the accelerometers inside the lightsabers and merely amplifies them to a useful level to make music out of. You don't really need this, I'm just being pedantic Peter. Right, anyway, let's get these plugged in and Princess Leia down a track. That's a dreadful joke, isn't it? So I've just plugged them in. say I was good at it. <laughs> oh. So there we go, that's the lightsaber pheromone. 
As you can see, with a little playing around, you can make it sound pretty cool. Don't let this put you off, you could do this a lot easier by attaching this accelerometer onto something like an Arduino instead of a knob. It does the same thing as a twisty knob, so it's really quite simple. I would recommend you looking into it. There will be information on this coming in drips and drabs in the next week on my Patreon, and it will be coming public after that. If you want to get a hold of any of the audio from this video, I'm going to look through, I'm going to cut it all up into samples and stuff, and that will be available on my Patreon too, if that's of interest. And yeah, I've been Look Mum No Computer, don't forget to subscribe, and peace!